You know, Mo, I'll probably get 10 years, so just give me beers till they get here. Yeah. How's it going everybody? Flint from Flint and Steel Survival bringing you this video today. This is the unpackaging of my contest winnings from the Fat Man. I was his first place winner for the 3,000 sub giveaway and I was stoked to win this, guys. Can't even tell you how excited I was when uh, I got that pulled out of the bucket. So I'm going to be opening it with my brand new Crow Hawk from Stutter and Bob. One of the coolest dudes on YouTube. Same thing with the Fat Man, both great guys. So I'm going to open this at the top, and I already hear some nuts and bolts sounding in there. So let's see how we get on. So, so far, I've got a bag in a bag. And I'm telling you, Stutter and Bob's knives are just ridiculously sharp. So we're at bag in a bag status. No notes on this bag. Batman, you sir, make me laugh every time. Alright, first thing I saw, the Bobby Garland Crappy Baits. He's already tried them out. You gotta tell me how they work, Fat Man. <laughs> then right here, we got ourselves a couple things stuck together. Ugh. So this is a offset worm wide gap red finish cutting point bag. I've got four fly papers. Those are good in a survival situation if you feel like eating a fly. <laughs> Next up, we got this little uh, paracord keychain with a little grenade bead on it. I kind of really like that. That's pretty damn cool. Next up, we got. Oh, I got some contest entries. I got the Dino. That one's staying. Sick Man 99. I got a owner <laughs> bag. I got me Stasa 23. Looks like I got all the tickets. MJ Fallout. Big Glock Daddy. Sunset Bay Bonnie. Here is the Otter Box case for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I do not have one of those, but I think I have a buddy at work that does. We'll see if I can uh, make some money off that guy. Patty's Potato Peelers. Lars Busk. Craft <laughs> BUSK. Ooh, I got some more. These ones are unopened. The Bobby Garland Crappy Baits Baby Shads. Here is the oh, I'm lining up the boxes. Hold, hold. <laughs> CRKT. The Leatherman. I've got offset shank worm that's empty, which is weird because it doesn't even appear to be open. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. You're so funny. Ooh, here's my uncle cow. Wild eye swim shad. That one is also gone. Outdoor design, outdoor decor, birdhouse, $3 birdhouse. Fat man, I would like to see this $3 birdhouse. I'd like to see it up in your yard. Scab ugly channel. I've got a whole mess of names. And by the way, guys, I got a pretty ignorant comment on my last uh, Fat Man unboxing. If you don't want to watch, you're free to click away, go away. If I'm taking too long for you, Feel free to leave. <laughs> I'm going to go through every single name in this bag. Serene Madness. Swamp Rat Man 2000. Klaus L. Mueller. Miss Kimberly Living Life. 
Uh, Rotter 204. Bushcraft Dave Vlogs. Thirty nine camper. We got the man, the myth, the legend, shiny knife. Ox jaw. Pull some of these out so I don't have to keep reaching the bag every time. I've got a half a gum wrapper. Doc Ink. Kalen Strain. Nicest knives, Jim in the house. The John Z Project, Birdman 649, Ambiguity, I almost said Ambiguy, BDPF, Southpaw Bushcraft, Tardisius, Jason McDaniel, McDiddley himself. DLC knives. Great knife maker, by the way. Go check him out for sure. The MI Woodsman. Got some real legends that entered your giveaway, sir. And J Dog Big Monkey T Money. Big Money TTL. Alright. Now it looks like I got some pocket change. The bottom of the bag is quite oily. I, uh,. I assume it's from the fishing lures, but if it's for some other reason, uh, let me know to wash my hands. <laughs> so it looks like I got me 30, 40, 48 cents. So uh, 48 cents richer than I was when I started the video. This is the Juice B2. Would you look at that? Man, even my favorite color. This is the guy that's got two blades, I believe. Yes, it does. Full serrated blade. Full straight blade, I believe Jim got the same exact knife from the Fat Man. Except his was a different color, if I do remember right. Absolutely love this guy, man. <laughs> that is that is really well put together for just what feels like half of a Leatherman. So I'll keep that in the box. Then this is the 5151 Dactyl, according to the box. No, it was the one he said I was going to get. This is the CRKT GSD. So this one's got the full monster serrations. It's got a very nice blade. This thing is a workhorse, you can tell right away. And if you can see the pocket clip, very beefy and pronounced. Um, the lock on it is beautiful. Manual flipper, so it's nice and smooth. I do like me some manual flippers. It's pretty smooth for a production knife. Very beefy, very nice. IKBS bearings in that boy too. Very cool. It fills your hand real nice. I might have to do some updates on some of these guys. Now this is the steel wheel. This should be the cut jack. And this is the upgraded cut jack. C22M cut jack, M390 and G10 black. I was super excited to win this knife because I've really wanted to check it out for a long time now. Such a small little design, but so nice, that thing flew. I really love the blue backspacer, the G10 handles. Very nice polished blade. Pretty sharp. And some nice jimping on the thumb ramp. Cut Jack C22M made in Italy. And look at that gigantic pocket clip compared to the knife. I like that. Nice, nice action. I do love that forward finger choil. Just fits my hand really, really well. I did not expect that. I expected it to be a little small, but I always wanted to check this one out. I love steel wheel knives. That is just ridiculously smooth. I'm telling you what guys, get yourself a cut jack. Um, the regular models that's not upgraded like this guy, you can get for like, I think it's 40 bucks all day. 
So, uh, go find yourself one of these, man. I'm telling you, that is silky smooth. I was not expecting that right out of the box with that knife. And I mean, I know Fat Man said it in his review, but that thing is impressive. So, cut jack, serial number 0033, knife passed, quality control S, loop hat, 382017. So, this is a brand new baby knife. Now let's get into the flashlight. <laughs> Snow White. So Fat Man actually sent me his other A Tactical flashlight. And this appears to be the exact same model. Nice and nice and bright. Wow, even though I already own this guy. Still surprises me every time I turn it on how bright this thing is. Very nice flashlight. A Tactical A1S ROHS FC serial number blah 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 blah. If you want to go look it up, came in this nice box with this nice charging cord and a extra O ring. So I'm super happy. And then I've got Kong Skull Island DVD. Oh wait, wait, oh, a name fell out from Twixdom. Oh hey, mine. Flint and Steel Survival. Alright, anyway. Kong Skull Island. This is the Blu-ray, 3D, Blu-ray, and digital. I'm going to give this to my dad. He's a huge King Kong fan. Probably the biggest I know, so he's going to really appreciate that. And then here is the Lego Batman movie, which I... Honestly, I was very excited about, because I really like Lego. Like, me and my wife play all the Lego video games. Um, it's something about their humor is so funny to me. So, I'm really excited about that one. We might go watch that one tonight. Mm, actually, no. I'm going to wait till tomorrow because we're supposed to be getting a new TV. going to be watching this guy tomorrow. Watch my vlogs. <laughs> Alright. Really appreciate it, guys. He hooked me up like he always does. Fat Man, you are just a boss. You're a friend. Colleague. Really happy to know you. And uh, congratulations on 3,000 subs. That's a pipe dream for a channel like mine. But that's all I had to say. Um, and I'm really, really happy with this stuff. Thanks, guys. And uh, check out all the names I shouted out if you haven't already. There's some in there that I need to go check out that I haven't heard of before. So I'll go get busy. But thanks, guys. Bye.